right, so another division of uh, federal equipment is the FEC heliports. I'm here with Joe Bosley. Joe's a uh, structural engineer here. So Joe, tell us a little bit about what it is you do and uh, the uh, the heliport side of the business. Uh, well, we design helipads for hospitals, offshore oil rigs, sometimes boats. Uh, we do uh, quite a few helipads a year. Mm -hmm. Just the main design is the, the steel structure, and then we have to attach into whatever building or yeah. structure is uh, there to support us. So what kind of load do you have to take to be able to land a helicopter? On an, on the average helicopter, we use a 12,000 pound helicopter, so we design for 18,000 pounds landing on that roof. All right, so what type of uh, information do you get from architects and structural engineers so that you can evenly distribute the load so that you're not affecting the building? Right, we usually get the uh, structural layout and they'll tell us where the uh, column supports are so we can support our structure off of that. So each building is pretty much the same, right? I mean, you just just throw out the next drawing and, and you're good to go, right? No, not at all. Every building is unique in the, the layout, uh, column design or uh, structural design to uh, support that, that shape or that uh, structure on top. So every job is unique. So what information do you have to send out to architects as part of your design? Are you sending them you know, 3D models, 2D drawings? What, do you, what, what are you delivering to them? Uh, standard package is uh, 2D drawings uh, with the structural steel layout, all the details of how everything connects, and also the loading that we're going to apply to their building. So um, I'm looking at this drawing here, and you know the other division I was talking to, they're using Inventor. This doesn't look like an Inventor drawing at all. No, this is uh, pure AutoCAD, which uh, works best for us. It's the best tool for uh, this specific job because we're looking at 2D layouts and creating details of the steel. Now you're also using right. AutoCAD so, structural detailing. So after we do the, the drawings in regular AutoCAD, we can take that and create a 3D model in ASD using this layout. We use the Revit for uh, the uh, customer uh, information gets to us. Uh, we use the their 3D model to get any, any information we need about their building. Mm -hmm. So you're using three different packages and, and I hear from some people every now and again you know about well, you know Autodesk why don't you just put all that into one package uh, what's your take on that? You, you're yeah. gonna have too much capability all at once and I, you're not gonna be productive because you're not gonna be able to find what you need at the time. For example we use a regular AutoCAD to do our 2D drawings and it wouldn't make sense for us to use anything else because every tool we need is right there. All right. Well, hey Joe thanks for letting us in uh, you know to this side of the business um, you know with been talking a lot on the military side, and it was, it's, uh, it's nice to see the, uh, you know, the, the, the dual nature, uh, a multiple nature, really. You guys are continuing to grow uh, here at Federal Equipment, so I uh, appreciate your time this morning. My pleasure. All right, man, thanks. Thanks, sir. All right, you heard it. Use the right tool for the right job to create the right deliverable. It just doesn't come out of my mouth. Anyway, we're going to head over to the project engineering team to see how Autodesk Vault Professional is helping FEC manage change and the release process. Thank you.